be medic. I prefer medic over support. All right. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Matthias. And I'm coming at you here with a video that is going to be dedicated to things that you need to uh, think about when you're playing in a community, or even more so if you want to play with a streamer or a YouTuber. Now some of the things that I'm going to bring up in this video is going to be rather general and uh, those are things that probably goes without saying if you just think about it for a moment. But some of them are also going to be a little bit more specific about me and my community. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked. Now that's a good way to start a game. Nice. So now the first thing that I want to bring up now is the importance of having good sound using your voice over IP program. And in our case, we use TeamSpeak 3. But of course the same principle goes for whatever program you're using, such as Discord, Mumble, Ventrilo, or uh, yeah, whatever it might be. So you have a TeamSpeak, the first thing you want to do is click on Tools, and then all the way down you click on Options. And the fourth option from the top is Capture, and that's the one that is really important, especially if you don't use Push to Talk. But even if you do use Push to Talk, it's actually quite good to understand how these settings works. As you can see, there's a test function for your microphone, and what you want to make sure of is that when you're hitting your keyboard or when there's some noise in the background, somebody's talking or whatever the noise might be, you want to make sure that none of those things are being picked up by your microphone. So simply put, when you're talking, you want the indicator to reach above wherever you put the activation slider, while at the same time, the same slider is set so that none of the background noise activates your microphone for TeamSpeak. Now, if you want to play with the YouTuber or streamer, there are a lot of things that you want to think about that are... Or should I say, it's not that rules and guidelines are more important when you're playing with a content creator than in any other community, but the effects of not understanding some of the things that I will bring up in this video is going to be much more noticeable if you're playing with somebody that is recording something for YouTube or who is streaming live on Twitch.tv. Now obviously it's important not to be annoying, to always be respectful, for the most part being a good team player is highly valuable, at least in our case it is extremely important actually. But the main reason why content creators such as myself are a little bit more strict with the rules than maybe m most uh, communities yeah. is because, right well, now. partly because as a content creator, as a streamer, YouTuber, you have a tendency to attract a lot of people and, uh, should I say, the wrong kind of people, people that have a massive need for attention, people that have a very sensitive ego, and people that, for a variety of different reasons, wants to be seen in a YouTube video or in a live stream. And normally when it comes to these people that are looking for attention, they are the ones that are causing the most problems. Now in the past I have had a massive amount of problems with a variety of different people, and that's why in my case I have become very very strict with the rules and the guidelines. So now one of many things that I value quite highly is that you actually are a Battlefield 1 player for you know for as long as this is about Battlefield 1. There's been a number of people that wants to join even though they don't really play the game and they just want to play again for the sake of having a chance being in a YouTube video or obviously being in the stream and obviously that is to some degree understandable but it doesn't make it so much fun for me or the other guys that I'm playing with since uh, the more we play the game the more we take certain things for granted C certain knowledge and certain things that comes with experience there are things that eventually start taking for granted and you don't want to have to explain th basic things to a new player that are quite common knowledge by now. And not only is it uh, kind of um, kind of frustrating for the people watching the stream, but it also takes away from my possibilities to make a new uh, video because obviously we want to talk about things that are uh, more important or that are more interesting to the majority of the viewers. But also what is important to understand is that if I would have to explain basic things is that most likely is that going to mean that I would have to repeat myself and I would have to say things that I have already explained in a variety of tutorials or videos and that I have explained to my viewers in the stream already. And I'm sure all of you understand that it's not all that much fun for my viewers to hear me repeat myself over and over. Especially not, again, about basic stuff. So now let's continue with some of the things that are more specific to the way we play. And uh, the things that, again, if you want to play with us, you're going to have to try to adapt to. Now, if we're enough people to fill up an entire squad, which is five, then our basic unit composition is two assault, two medics, and one support. And yes, pay attention to how we actually play without the scout class, at least in our basic unit composition. Now, the reason why we've chosen that uh, squad composition is there is a number of different reasons for it. But basically, we go for the objectives and we prioritize taking out enemy tanks. That's how we play. 
<laughs> That's what it's like to get fucking wrecked. Now, the main reason why I play Assault myself is because as the squad leader, I am normally the one leading the charge, which, you know, is one of the reasons why it makes sense to play Assault. But also, if I'm the one taking the decisions of how we approach the tank, it makes it a lot easier to do so while being in front of the squad mates. And even if the main damage dealers are only two players in a five-man squad, the medics and the support player have a crucial role in order to keep the squad alive and moving forward, always supplied with ammunition, and also remember not to underestimate the light anti-tank grenade that can be equipped by any class. Now, one of the most obvious problems we've had with recruiting new players is that since I am playing a lot of Assault and also since I'm flying a lot, which I so far haven't mentioned in this video, but most of you guys already know it, and yet the problem is that a lot of people that want to join us they want to join because they play the same way as I do. And that, obviously, doesn't really work. If there's anything we are not looking for, is people that play the game the way I do. At the release of this video, what we're looking for is mainly medics. But being all round is of course always valuable. Now, I'm not particularly interested in recruiting pilots. Now, don't get me wrong, I really do appreciate playing with another good pilot from time to time. You can always exchange ideas and you can learn from one another. But the problem is that the numbers of planes uh, that are available for each map is always very limited. And what happens is that when we are more than one pilot in a squad, many times we're just trying to get the same plane over and over. So if you're a dedicated pilot, I'm sorry to say there are other players that's going to have priority. Oh, lighting from uh, that. Upstairs above the door. Yeah. So now some of you guys might be reacting on why we don't have a scout. And I know it's a very popular uh, class. Uh, sniping in Battlefield 1 has been simplified to the point where, in my opinion, it's just stupid. Well, obviously, that's just my opinion, and I'm basing that on all the other games that I've played in the past, where you actually had to have, at least to some degree, skill to snipe, unlike in Battlefield 1. And I know that the most common argument in order to have a scout in, uh, in a squad, even in a squad that plays the way we do, is uh, the, sp the flares, the spotting flares. But the problem with having a scout is that you have to sacrifice most likely either an assault player or a medic. And our conclusion to that is that we feel that th that is simply not worth it. Now going back to again stating the obvious, if you want to join an already existing community then it is of course up to you to somewhat adapt to how they play the game. Now obviously there's going to be a lot of differences bit from one community to another, but if a community is based on a streamer or a YouTuber, and keep in mind that the way you play and the way you talk in TeamSpeak is going to have an effect on the work that content creator is doing while playing the game. And if you, for whatever reason, has a negative effect on the way said content creator works, then don't expect to last all that long. On the other hand, if you want to join a content creator, it is of course very easy to understand how they play the game, because obviously the information is going to be there for you on Twitch and YouTube. So yeah, I really hope this video answers some questions. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Ooh, a lot of them coming on B. Phage, fire. Yeah, I did. I didn't know mention you before. I think. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, I'm good. We have lost objective hunter. Behind us, plane. That's a tank hunter. Ah, he's down. Oh, nice. Oh shit! I have fate. Bail, 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 bail. <laughs> I have fate. Bail, 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 bail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, the plane after me. Damage by 20. Can you take the oh. medic kit? Uh, no, I'm support. No, 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 I mean the <laughs> Mati. Mati has oh. to kill one to get the medic kit. Oh, no, no. Uh, th th there's a tank in front of us. Yeah, I marked. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Vedo un carro, attenzione! Sniper and artillery. I'm getting shot. It's down though. Hit him twice. Yeah, I killed him. Nice. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's down. Ah. Thank you. No problem. 
Ooh. Yeah, attack plane is flying over B, D. Fuck! <laughs>